Howdy, rock stars. I'm Allie, your rock star bar girl. How are you? Just getting everybody set up here. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. I just got home from yoga, so I had to shower and get ready because couldn't be a sweaty beast out here. All right. Cool, okay, I'm gonna wait for a couple of people to come in. Um, while people are coming in, is this too much glare on my glasses? I got these blue light filtering glasses, which I think are pretty snazzy. Hey, welcome, thanks for the like. Um, but there is a glare on them, so I don't know, tell me if it's distracting, but um, I've been having headaches from all the editing and um, time that I spend on my computer and on my phone and stuff like that, so um, this is helping with that. So first off, as usual, um, I am going to start off, actually, I think I can move this light, that will help. That'll make it better. Did that make it better? Hold on, let me make it better. That better that's a little bit better <laughs> hi dima dome what's up um so just a couple of announcements as usual um starting off with one that you guys have probably heard me mention a couple of times before um which is just that if you are looking for instructional videos from me make sure to check out my um website therockstarbargirl.com um, that is where you will find me posting new instructional videos that are far more interactive than the videos here on youtube you know i have loved youtube um, but it doesn't allow me to give you guys notes pdfs um, quizzes assignments or anything like that so you can actually um, interact with the videos um, that you're learning from so um, on my website which is run by thinkific it's uh, an actual online course site so it's far more engaging so if you haven't already gone over to the rockstarbargirl.com and signed up for my mailing list then please do so when you sign up for my mailing list you get my 40 page ebook the fundamentals every bartender must know completely for free super useful information um, goes above and beyond what's included in the basics videos here on youtube and also gives you a good overview of what is available in my full online course by the same name um, i will not spam you i don't send out many emails but when i post a new class on the website or um, do a giveaway or sale or anything like that i uh, post uh, send out emails to that mailing list group so you definitely want to be a part of the mailing list Someone says, before this starts, just want to say thank you for your videos. Started bartending about a year and a half. Your videos helped me build my confidence behind the pine. Thank you, Jasmine. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys know that's like my whole big thing is confidence. Um, you can learn recipes from Google. You can practice techniques at home. But actually having the confidence to go out there and do this job is a whole nother story. Um, so I try to give you tips and information that actually will make you feel like you can do this. So thank you. I really appreciate hearing you say that um, that's happened for you. So thank you so much. Um, the next uh, announcement that I want to make for you guys is to let you know that next week, Friday, there will not be a tip of the week. Um, if you have been following me, then you know that I've been getting ready for my first artist showcase, which is happening at the end of the month, January 29th at the Melrose Ballroom um, at 7 p.m. So if you're in the New York City area, please do come. Tickets are still available. Um, and uh, yeah, so I will be spending the rest of the week getting ready for that. I've been packing up my products and printing up my price lists and, you know, getting everything ready. And it's really exciting. Everything's really beautiful and, and coming along great. So I'm super excited for it. Um, and uh, the days after, I'm going to have to be playing a little bit of catch up, doing all the things that I'm not going to be able to do between now and the show, because pretty much my whole life is all about getting ready for the show between nine, um, now, now and Wednesday. So after Wednesday, um, I'm going to be taking appointments and doing various things that I need to do. 
Um, so uh, I will not be around all of next week. So there will not be a live next week, okay? But I will be back the week after that and we will resume uh, our regularly scheduled programming. Um, and for those of you who are interested in meeting me and um, learning more about what I do when I'm not slinging booze, um, I am doing the Raw Artist Showcase. So if you live in the New York City area or you have friends who do, uh, go ahead and grab yourself a ticket. Um, the event is close to selling out, I've heard. There's like 800 to 1,000 people that are going to be there. It's crazy. 50 different amazing artists and designers showing off their stuff. DJs, performances, films, um, bar, of course. I would not do an event without a bar. So it's just going to be a really good time. Um, so definitely grab a ticket. The link um, to get a ticket is down below. And if you just want to help me and support me while I try to pull this off <laughs> so that I can do more in the future um, and you can't get a ticket, you can also just make a donation. And there's a link down below for that as well. Um, nice glasses. Thanks, bro. Um, they are cute, but they're for my aging <laughs> eyes. Um, I've been having headaches from staring at screens for too long, so I got these blue light filtering glasses to help me out with them. Hopefully the reflection of my ring light is not too um, annoying. If it is, let me know. I'll take them off, but then I'll be like this. But, um, but just let me know. And thank you for the likes, guys. I appreciate it. You don't have to wait until the end of the video to like. You can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and give me a like. It really makes a huge difference. So, uh, I'm going to start getting into it for you guys. Today's topic is going to be how to shake, which is, uh, thank you, um, which is why I am in this angle instead of the, the wide angle that I usually like. Headaches, <laughs> headaches are sinful. Um, so hopefully you guys can see my space here with my shaker tins and also see like up here so that when we start shaking, um, you can see everything. Um, and uh, what I wanna do first is let you know what you are going to need if you wanna practice along. Um, so first of all, if you grab yourself my Rockstar Bar Kit, um, you guys know I have every single thing that you need um, in order to practice these techniques at home. Shakers, strainers, mixing glasses, jiggers, bar spoons, everything um, in my Rockstar Bar Kit. So you can head over to my website, therockstarbargirl.com to check it out and grab one for you. Um, it comes in an awesome portable bag and it's something that I really wish that I had back in the day um, so that I could carry it around and do private parties and like have my own tools and stuff. Um, so I've kind of put my dream kit together and it's available on my site. Um, you might have some of this stuff at home. Um, let me tell you something. You got to do what you got to do and you have to make do with what you have. I have created shakers out of plastic cups of different sizes at house parties okay so if you have two different plastic cups or two glasses that can neatly fit into each other with like a nice seal you could grab those too okay um this can be done in many ways but i'm going to show you with a proper set of shakers so what we have here is what we call a boston shaker and tin set these are the tins uh so this is a 28 ounce tin and this is a 16 ounce tin don't quote me on that it might be 12 ounce um but it's a large tin and a small tin. And then we have a 16 ounce mixing glass. You are most likely at your bar going to have a bunch of pint glasses around, AKA mixing glasses. You might not have the small size of your shaker tins, okay? And that's okay. And that actually can really benefit you because as you can imagine, your mixing glass can hold far more than a small shaker tin. Um, so this will allow you to make multiple drinks at once. Also, I like having the clear mixing glass because I can see what I'm pouring into it and how much I'm putting into it. And um, we're gonna talk a little bit um, later about why that's important and how that will prevent you from over pouring, um, over filling your shakers and causing like spills and stuff. So um, what we will do, mm, I guess I'll do it, I'll do it both ways. I'll do it with the tin and then I'll show it to you again with the mixing glass. Uh, so when you are shaking, you wanna start off by filling your ingredients into your smaller side. So whether that's your shaker tin or your mixing glass, either way, it is not your large tin. 
If you pour into your large tin, there's a really good chance that you are going to overfill everything and you're gonna have an explosion on your hands because this will only cover but so much liquid. And it's really hard to guesstimate how much that's going to be. Um, so best to leave that to the side and to start off with your small shaker tin. So I am going to add to my shaker tin three ounces of liquid. We're just um, pretending here because we're just learning how to shake. So um, I'm not building an actual recipe. Check out other videos for that type of material. So I'm just adding like about three to four ounces of liquid to this side of my shaker tin. Uh, a martini glass is three to four ounces and since we're shaking, um, potentially to pour this straight up, no more than four ounces is what you want to keep in mind um, if you're making one drink, okay? I'm gonna add ice. Two scoops is usually sufficient. It doesn't matter so much how much. Um, if you are um, straining this off into a different glass, if you were what we call dirty straining, meaning just taking the shaker afterwards and just dumping it into a glass, then um, you would want to um, be mindful of how much ice you're putting in because you don't want to put too much so much ice that everything overflows, right? You wanna only put as much ice as would work with that glass. But that's kind of an individual drink, individual thing that you will learn. Um, generally speaking, for pouring things straight up or on the rocks, as long as you don't have more than four ounces of liquid, it doesn't really matter how much ice is in the shaker, okay? Now we get to the important part. And I'm gonna pull out a smaller glass just to have, just to strain into. Uh, so the important part, step one, there's three steps to shaking properly and I call it the tip, tilt, wait, what? No, I don't call it any of those things. I call it the tilt, tap, turn method, okay? Tilt, tap, turn, the three T's to shaking. So the first step is to, on a tilt, place your shaker firmly onto, your large shaker firmly onto your small shaker. By doing this, I have created a seal um, on the bottom shaker and the top shaker because I have caught an air bubble inside of the shakers. That air bubble helps them to suction together and now even if I wanted to, it's like impossible to pull them off of each other, which is what I want because I don't want this to pop apart and shake or, or, or spill on me. So that air seal is really, really important. If you put the shaker on top of the shaker without doing it on an angle and you don't get that air bubble, they can easily just slide apart. The next step is to tap. I'm gonna give it a good whack because I want to make sure that it's really, truly on there. And then I'm going to turn. We always shake into the large shaker, no matter what, regardless of how many ingredients or how much is going on into the small shaker. I guarantee you that if you try to shake this the other way around with the small shaker on the bottom, that excess lip of space right here is going to allow for spillage. So you must always shake into the large portion of your shaker and then go from there. When we are shaking, a firm hand on the bottom and at least two fingers securely on the top. Now, as you move into your bartending career, you might develop other methods for how you want to actually hold your shakers when you shake. Some people get really crazy fancy and they be spinach it all over the place and all of that stuff. I encourage you to experiment with that. Follow people who do flair um, and stuff on their channels and learn how to do all of that stuff. That's not my thing, so here we go, okay? Firmly on the bottom, securely on the top. We're throwing back over our shoulder towards our ear. and shaking firmly, all right? That is super important, especially as you get into shaking um, ingredients that are thick, um, that are really sweet, like sour mix, especially if it's a packaged sour mix and things of that nature. Uh, a really good shake is important to any shake and cocktail. Um, and then I'm just going to take my Hawthorne strainer and pour that out of there. And that was just to 
finish that off. That wasn't a real drink. Have I ever tried to flare? Um, yes, I actually um, have a former coworker and friend. His name is Ace Garrison. Um, I encourage you to look him up. He owns a company called um, Bar Styles, um, and he is a flare bartender, and he teaches flare. And when we taught at a bartending school together back in the day, he offered his flare class as like an add-on that you could do so pretty much all of the instructors um yes i know ace from philly you know ace get out of here i mean ace knows a million people so that doesn't surprise me um but uh yeah so he offered that class so pretty much all of the instructors took his class so i took his class um i learned how to like flip coasters and throw some cherries into drinks um and that was about it because everything else was way too hard flare not for me um all right but um, that's crazy. How do you know Ace? That is amazing. Um, very awesome guy. Just had a baby, I believe, right? Congratulations, Ace. Um, okay, so he is a very high energy positive guy, let me tell you. Because he's got a lady and a baby, I will not get into all the stories about Ace Garrison. <laughs> but he can turn up. He can turn up. He definitely wore me and my husband out a few nights. We had to tap out, tap out. He can party, um, but he's also just a very kind, awesome, giving person. So very happy for him and his company, but definitely look him up. Um, Dima Dome, if you are, because I can't leave the YouTube app right now, if you're able to go on Instagram and... Um, give his Instagram handle um, and put it in the comments. I would truly appreciate you. Um, so you guys just be on the lookout in the comments um, for uh, Ace's Instagram so you can follow him and um, you know reach out about taking flare classes if that is something that you are interested in. All right, so for those of you who may be just joining us, I just walked through my method for shaking um, any cocktail properly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it one more time for you. And then I'm gonna talk about some commonly made mistakes and ways you can avoid making those mistakes when you are shaking um, so that you don't have any errors at the bar. Uh, so this time I'm going to do it into my mixing glass. And we're following the exact same process but the thing I like about the mixing glass is you can see um, how much liquid is in there and I'm actually going to tell you about a little trick um, in a moment um, once I'm done with this demonstration so I'm adding you know whatevs we're just practicing here between three and four ounces or so of liquid to this glass and then I'm going to add ice Again, about two scoops is sufficient. And then we get to the important part, which is the tilt, tap, turn. So we are going to, on an angle, add our large shaker to the top of our glass on a tilt. And if you're practicing this at home, you're gonna feel that suction when you put it down onto the glass. And like when you get it on there really good, it is very, very hard to pull the shaker off of the glass. And that's what we want. We want a nice seal. So that's what that tilt is for. Next, we are going to tap it very hard to make sure that everything is nice and sealed for us. And then we are going to turn, always shaking down into the large shaker. Our large shaker should always be on the bottom in whatever hand we hold on the bottom. For me, that's the right hand because that's my dominant hand. For you, it might be the other way around, but whatever your bottom hand is, should be holding your large shaker. And then we're gonna throw this back over the shoulder um, towards my ear. And shake very vigorously, okay? This is also really helpful when you are throwing it back. If for some reason this comes apart, um, it wasn't tight enough, maybe you're working with sour mix, which can be slightly carbonated and could push things apart for you. If that happens, that backwards trajectory is gonna make sure that everything flies out the back and not all in your face and all over your outfit and all of that good stuff, okay? Um, so, uh, Throwing it back over the shoulder and past your ear is not only a great way to get a good heavy shake, but it's also a great way to make sure that if you do have a spill, you don't spill it all over yourself. 
Funny story, a friend of mine was telling me the other day, she was shaking a cocktail and she was throwing it back. The cocktail shaker split apart, but instead of her getting drenched, the bartender behind her did. <laughs> Which was like messed up, but was kind of funny. She was like, oh my God, I could have got drenched, but I just totally wrecked like the white shirt of like my fellow bartender. So, you know, sorry, but glad it wasn't me. So anyway, um, before I strain this, um, this is going to give me an opportunity to talk about one of my uh, tips to avoid issues. So one thing that can happen quite frequently, um, especially if you're working with two metal shakers, which can get very, very cold, is the cold temperature causes everything to contract on itself and it can get so tight that you literally can't pull this apart. And now you're at the bar kind of like, embarrassing yourself a little bit because you literally cannot open your shakers. So I want to teach you how to open your shaker every single time. So if you look at the shaker, you will notice that one side of the shaker and the mixing glass are flush with each other and one side is separated. The side that is flush is where the air bubble is and if we can free that air bubble, then we can free the shakers. So I'm going to turn this so that I'm holding in my non-dominant hand the part of the shaker that is not stuck with the air bubble. I'm gonna put two fingers on the glass and two fingers on the shaker and my thumb around the back so I know that I've got a nice firm grip on it. It's not gonna fall apart. Then with my wrist, the hardest part of my wrist, sorry, there's sunlight coming through. The hardest part of my wrist, I'm gonna whack this spot right here to free that air bubble, okay? Okay, oh, this is perfect, <laughs> this is perfect. I didn't think this would happen. So I've been holding it for a long time, so now it's really cold and it's really, really stuck. If you can't get it with your wrist, you can use the side of the bar to whack that open for you, okay? okay. So now that you've freed that, now you can strain that, okay? So, um, that happens a lot, especially with your metal shakers, okay? So just take it on the rubber part of the mat, just give it a whack, and then you can free it, all right? Um, what are some of my other things I wanna talk about? Okay, so other things that can be a problem. Overfilling the shaker. That happens quite frequently, especially if you're making a cocktail that doesn't really have like, um, a measurement to them. Sometimes the juice part or the non-alcoholic um, side, um, I thought you had to hit the side where the lip is. No, 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 the flush side. The lip side, like the part that's separated, that's the part that you wanna hold on to. Um, the part that is flush is where the shaker ha and the glass have come together really, really tightly. Um, if you hold it around the other way, you won't be able to hold on to the two parts so that they don't slide out for you. Um, yeah, I've never tried holding it the other way. I'm not sure what would happen, but the air bubble that's holding everything together is on the flush side. So you want to hold the flush side. Um, but yeah, so back to overfilling, um, that can happen when you have recipes that are not like specific recipes. Let's say you're shaking a cocktail, like a screwdriver or something, which doesn't need to be shaken, but there might be some reason why you want to shake a cocktail, um, like that. Um, one of the tricks that I use is, let's see, make sure I have enough ice for this. If you are working with a pint glass, this is really, um, gonna help. And it's why I prefer to shake into a pint glass as opposed to into um, the metal tins. If you fill your glass shaker about three quarters of the way with ice, and this is ice from my home, so it's a little bit bigger than the ice that you might use at your bar for just regular shaking, but about three quarters of the way with liquid, with ice, when you are adding your liquid, whether you are jigger, pouring, free pouring, et cetera, et cetera, if you add enough liquid, whatever it is, to the point where you have 
ice sticking up out of the liquid level, but the water or the, the, the vodka, the gin, whatever it is you're putting in here, your mixture, is not all the way over your ice, but you also don't have huge ice cubes sitting on top of everything. If you basically just create like this iceberg situation, you will never go wrong with this measurement. It's about um, a three ounce pour when you do that every time. It's about a 12 count, um, but regardless of the measurement, if you're an eyeball type of a person, this is kind of like that magic level. If you fill your ice three quarters of the way and then um, fill your liquid to the point where it just gets to the level of the ice, where your ice is half covered on the top, not all the way above, but not so below that there are whole ice cubes. This will absolutely get the job done and you don't have to worry about overflowing. If you were to fill this pint glass any more than this, once the ice starts to melt while you're shaking and all of that, then you might end up with like an overflow situation on your hands. Okay. Um... And then finally, carbonated material. So um, this is a mistake that usually um, someone who has not had any type of like bartending instruction um, makes because this is something that usually gets covered in any um, bartending class that talks about how to shake. But it's very, very important that you never try to shake any carbonated materials. No matter how tightly you secure the shakers onto each other, the gas in your carbonated materials will push them apart from each other and you will have an explosion regardless, okay? So if you have a drink such as a Long Island iced tea that calls for the addition of a carbonated uh, ingredient, you will shake all of your non-carbonated ingredients first strain it into your glass, and then top it off with your carbonated material, okay? A little side note about that, sour mix from the gun. Um, the way soda guns work is they are able to run to the gun any um, liquid that is any combination of um, water, concentrate, and uh, CO2. So it could be just water. It could be juice, which would be water and concentrate and no CO2. It could be a soda like cola, which would be water, concentrate, and uh, CO2. So they can do anything that has any of those three combinations, can go through your soda gun. Um, and because of that and all the intermingling of everything, the CO2 is necessary to push things up through the gas pipes. So your sour mix will have some CO2 into it most of the time in order for it to like flow properly through your gun. Not as much as your colas, your sodas, but there will be some. And so that's why when you pour the sour mix out of the gun, um, you will see it bubble a little bit. This is not really a problem for sour mix that comes in a bottle. Um, it's not really a problem for sour mix that you make yourself if you don't add any concentrated ingredients uh, or carbonated ingredients. But when you're working with a soda gun, you might have that issue. So sour mix, what do you do? Um, you can still shake cocktails with sour mix, carbonated off the gun sour mix in it because it has far less carbonation than your sodas. You just need to be extra, extra careful and make sure that you're holding on to everything super tight. Um, soda, actual soda will literally just push the shakers apart. There's like no preventing it. Um, but the sour mix doesn't have that much carbonation to do that. Um, instead, it will uh, just push it apart a little bit. So if you've got a good firm grip and you keep in mind that you're working with sour mix, you, you should be okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that is how to shake properly and um, a couple of things to keep in mind in order to avoid mistakes or spills um, at your bar. So um, of course, as 
always, I open it up for questions. So if you guys have any questions um, about shaking or drink building while I'm here at the bar and can show you, um, do let me know. For those of you who are just coming in right now, um, we had a couple of announcements at the beginning of the live. Um, first of all, make sure to head over to my website, therockstarbargirl.com. Sign up for my mailing list so you know when new classes come out on my site and whenever I am doing giveaways, sales, discounts, etc. Um, I do not spam you, so just join the mailing list. You'll also get my free 40-page ebook, The Fundamentals Every Bartender Must Know. And if you're interested in meeting me, I am doing a artist showcase at the end of the month at the Melrose Ballroom at 7 p.m. called the Raw Premiere Showcase. Tickets are available, and there is a link in the description box below. And while I am talking about giveaways, I am actually going to be doing a giveaway of free tickets to the show this weekend. Um, but I am only going to be doing that on my Bronx Witch platforms. Um, this is kind of a gift to them. My Bronx Witch supporters um, really held it down and came out big for me and got tickets to the event. Some of them can't even make it. They're not even in New York, uh, but they showed a ton of support, reposting, um, buying tickets, making donations and all of that and helped me to reach my um, ticket selling goal. So I wanna do something special on that platform. So I'm only gonna be doing this on my Bronx Switch platform. I'm not gonna be doing it on Rockstar Bar Girl. Um, so you will not see any information about it on this YouTube channel or my Rockstar Bar Girl Instagram. So if you are interested in going to the show and want Want to get a chance to score yourself two free tickets then head on over to Instagram um, or here on YouTube and look for Bronx Witch all one word and uh, follow me there because that's where I will be posting the details on how to enter into the giveaway Dima Dome there are your sirens I think they have been missing the last two weeks which is amazing whatever have you been doing with yourself must have just been craving this noise. Um, yeah, so I don't see any questions popping up um, in the comment section. So I take that to mean that um, this was pretty straightforward for you guys. If you do have any comments or questions, exactly, there go the sirens just for you. Um, if you do have any comments or questions um, and you are watching this live after the live has finished, don't worry, just leave them for me down below. I always respond to comments and questions. All right, guys, and thank you for the likes. Um, please do like this video. I really appreciate it. You don't have to wait until the end of the live. You can just go down to the bottom and um, click on the thumbs up. Julieta says, thank you. Great tips. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you found that helpful. Super important to know how to shake, shake, shake. All right, so um, I will tune out a little early this week, you guys. I've got to get back to packaging, packaging, packaging. I'm taking over 200 individual pieces and look four to five comments come up from this. <laughs> I know, right? And that always happens at the end. I'm like, all right, guys, I'm out of here. And then everyone's like, wait, 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 wait. Um, two essence. Uh, you're a new bartender. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you for tuning in. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to look through the rest of this channel, there are tons of videos on here. And uh, please do follow me on my website, therockstarbargirl.com. Um, there's a lot of material that uh, is not here on YouTube that will be very, very helpful to you as a new bartender in the game. Um, but yeah, so I'm taking like over 200 individual items like pieces um, to this show. So it's a ton. I got a good start yesterday on packing up, uh, but tonight we're gonna do more and then um, we are going to uh, just do like a test run at the beginning of the week and I'll be all set. Um, if for some reason you haven't gotten enough of me, I do have another channel, um, Bronx Switch, like I mentioned. Dima Dome, thank you for posting Ace Garrison's information. You guys can follow Ace on Instagram at Ace1305. Um, he is an amazing flair bartender and he teaches. So flair bartending, if you want to learn how to do more with those shakers than just shake, he is the guy to get in touch with. Um, 
very knowledgeable individual and really nice. He will be happy to hear from you. Um, but uh, today is the new moon in Aquarius. I know this isn't really this the channel for this information, but I just feel like I want to share it. Uh, tomorrow is the Chinese New Year. They always celebrate that on the first uh, day after the new moon in Aquarius. So I just want to encourage all of you to embrace change in all forms. A lot of things are happening and changing in our world and in your individual lives. And uh, I encourage you to embrace it because it might really turn into something amazing for you. Um, when I get off of here, I'm going to be heading over soon um, to my other platform, Bronx Witch, at Bronx Witch on Instagram, to do my Zodiac card pulls. Um, every full moon and every new moon, I pull a card for each of the Zodiac signs um, from the tarot deck to give you an idea of how this particular moon cycle can be beneficial to you. So if that's something you're into, if you're into astrology, into tarot reading, um, or just haven't gotten enough of me yet today, follow me on at Bronx Witch on Instagram um, and you will see when I post those readings. So anywho, that is what's going on in uh, Allie Kravitz's life and that is how to shake and how to avoid making common mistakes. So I hope that each of you found this information truly helpful. If you found this video helpful or if you just liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, like I said, just leave them for me down below and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click on the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out and make sure to follow me on Instagram at rockstar underscore bar girl. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye, Rockstars.